got some blood work. And uh, after freaking almost three months on trend, and then there was like a month prior where it was just Anavar and low test, like I think it was like 250 test or something. So it says my freaking HDL is at 18, so it's extremely low. Okay, it's freaking low, dude. But the LDL is only 116. So <laughs> it's not too bad. The LDL is like only slightly out of the reference range, and that's like unbelievable, really. So, but I don't know, except for the low cholesterol in general, I don't know. Yeah, but that's, that's something. The 18 is extremely low, but whatever. You're gonna have that on cycle. Uh, so yeah, it's just freaking great. She's all screwed up. But then, so it seems to be slightly liver toxic. I don't know, maybe it's a carrier oil. I don't know why. I guess it's, a lot of people don't even have any liver toxicity. I know some people are like, oh, it's kidney toxic. I got all my kidney stuff absolutely fine. So yeah, I could see it being kidney toxic if you freaking, your blood pressure's sky high forever. You know, you don't manage that. Like that, duh. Like, you know. But uh, um, my AST is 49, and that's nine points over the 40, the high end of it. So that's slightly high. That's not too bad. Uh, my ALT, though, is 85. Oh, and that's, that's almost double, so freaking it's 46 is the high end of it. But I'm not that worried because the liver just freaking heals. You know what I'm saying? So just get off, and then it'll be fine. So I'm not... Not too worried. It's not like it's so high, you know. I got my my uh, hematocrit and all the blood counts, and it's at fifty-two point seven. That's out of the high end being fifty, so it's only like two point seven points higher than the top end of the reference range. That is freaking crazy. So blood, that's some good stuff after being on freaking trend for as long as I have. Um, my isonophils, I don't know what the hell that is. Those are high with 15 points higher, so 515 on the top of the reference range being 500. My, I just got my fasting insulin checked because it's like, I just freaking, this blood sugar crap is crazy. And it, it's like, wow. But yeah, my fasting insulin was 2.1 and in the morning I drank like I drink a coffee, but it's just almond milk and then sweetener and uh, It's decaf coffee so And it was still 2.1. So it's like I mean it was like three cups of this like three three total cups of uh, It's like 24 ounces basically of this Almond milk with has like very low carbs, but it has like 2.5 grams of fat per serving So there's still some insulin coming off of that like I don't care There's still some insulin and it's still only 2.1. So my insulin sensitivity is freaking high. It's crazy So that's why it's like you get a regular insulin coming out and all of a sudden it's like pff, bottoms out Like you know, and then you get the reactive hypoglycemia because it's so insulin sensitive Like I wish I wasn't as insulin sensitive It's freaking a you know, but I'm, I'm going to see if metformin, because I heard, like, yeah, obviously it lowers the blood sugar, but it might, I've heard, like, it can buffer the whole reactive thing. So I'm going to give that a try, and hopefully that works. Because this stuff's crazy, dude. You just got to freaking consume carbs. Or you feel, like, just so bad. It's like your personality is drained. You feel like you're about to die. You feel, like, dizzy. You feel, like, unbelievably bad. So <laughs> i got to figure this out. The modafinil helps a little bit, but man, it's like, man, because I'm not trying to just consume carbohydrates all day. Like, I'm trying to get shredded, and then this thing is just the big impediment in my freaking desires and goals. So it's like, what the frick? You know what I'm saying? But uh, then I got my prolactin checked, so it's low. It's, not, it's, it's, it's just 0. 0.5. No, it's, it's 1.5, and the low end of the reference range is 2, so it's slightly low. And that's from the freaking cabergoline. So I'm gonna try to lay off that. Hopefully that uh but it's like you just feel like, like terrible without it. If, so I don't know, maybe it'll be like balance stuff out because it's low, you know. I'm gonna try to figure that out. But yeah, this is just an update. There's everything else is like on point. There's um alkaline phosphate, which is low. 
can't remember what that is. It's like, I don't know. But, yeah, everything else is good. Potassium's right on the top end of the reference range just because of the telmosartan. And then occasionally I have to take lisinopril on top of it because my blood pressure just goes crazy high. And then I'm dealing with a bunch of, bunch of stress all the time, too. So it's pretty <laughs> red-lined. Yeah, uh, my fasting glucose was 86, but it wasn't technically fasting. Like, it wasn't, I mean, I had, like, you know, so... But still, so that, that's good. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I'm trying to go over the rest of it. But yeah, that's that's after freaking almost three months of Tremblone. Freaking doing 600 milligrams a week. Been up in the test. See how that goes. I noticed since I started up in the test, the muscles are just like <laughs> getting swole as hell in the gym. So, that's something crazy, like looking like freaking mongoloid ass motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Just freaking solid and jack. And I got a new tattoo. It says mongoloid. You gotta live the life of the mongoloid. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Big update, the blood work.